Hi guys, Steve here. You remember when Ark Ascended launched and Snail Games Studio Wildcard Nitrado deliberately put blockers in place to stop people running their own private dedicated server on their own equipment when they had repeatedly told us over months before that we would be able to. Well, after a few of us did videos that got hundreds of thousands of views and the massive backlash and uproar from the Ark player base, Wildcard removed the blockers they had deliberately put in so we could host the servers on our own equipment. We told them that we would be keeping a constant eye on them and if they tried any more <laughs> like that in the future we would call them out on it. And up to this week everything was okay. But now Snail Games, Wildcard and Nitrado are trying to fuck us over again with their last patch that changes the login process. This is from their patch notes. Updated, how unofficial servers are listed to prevent errors and exploits. To see non-commercial, non-Nitrado hosted unofficial servers, please enable the checkbox, show players servers, and refresh the session list. That change may seem small and harmless, but their reason for it is a complete lie, in my opinion. Private servers do not cause errors or exploits. As one, they are standalone servers not connected to any other servers, so any problems would be isolated to that individual server and not affect any others. Two, if there were any errors on that server, then it wouldn't boot up or show in the first place. And three, this setup has been perfectly fine for eight years on Ark Survival Evolved. The real reason why we have done this, in my opinion, is to kill off privately hosted servers and push Nitrado ones. That show player servers tick box they want us to click is off by default. So every single time we have to enter the game, it resets. So we have to remember to click show player servers every single time we log in, then click the refresh search, then type in the server name, then enter the password. We have just more than doubled the amount of steps we have to do just to log in. At the start, the new code they put in to do this was so bad it didn't work most of the time so we couldn't even connect. And even when you did it right, you kept getting server login errors and you had to try and log in about five times just to play. It felt like they'd put in some kind of slot machine code where you failed to join most of the time and you only got lucky to connect once in a while. So where it took 10 to 20 seconds to log in before, it took minutes of fails after fails. It does seem more stable now, but is it gonna screw up again on the next patch? And with the game still crashing all the time and the extra time you need to log in, this is going to get you and your dinos killed, with you losing all your best stuff constantly. Some people can't even click the show player server tick box, so they can't even get into ARC to play it. Apart from the delays, frustration and pain of logging in over time now, this doesn't affect me as my server's private anyway. But because new players aren't going to know that you've got to click the show players server and loads of others are going to forget to click it, all the open privately hosted servers that want people to notice and join them so they can have a thriving community on them, they will be destroyed now because they're all hidden. And that's the real reason for that patch, in my opinion to hide all the non-Nitrado servers because they run much better than the garbage Nitrado ones and no one will want to rent or play on a Nitrado server if they see how good the private ones are. So make up a bullshit excuse and hide the private hosted servers away behind a little known server filter in the hope everyone will rent Nitrado servers instead. Make the game worse for greed and screw it if it's worse for the players. And let's make the login process as hard and as frustrating as possible while we're at it. I think they're deliberately trying to hide and kill the privately hosted servers. And if they're doing this now, then what are they going to try in the future? How long before the next problem with private servers? Because they have earned no benefit of a doubt and they knew exactly what they were doing. How about this? If you're doing it for our benefit, how about swapping things around and hiding all the Nitrado servers? So people would have to click a button every time they wanted to find one. No, you wouldn't be doing that, would you? Because there is no reason or benefit to do it. 
Wildcard reversed this patch and put the login system back to how it was, when it was working. Because all you're going to do is make people hate Arca Standard, you'll get even more negative reviews, and then they'll start to leave. And for the people who don't care because they're not using private servers, remember that Ark Survival Evolved is being held up by them. That's how important they are. And Ark Ascended will end up in the same situation. But if there's no one on them and a private server's shut down, it's really going to hurt Ark in the long run. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and share it with your friends. Click the bell notifications and all to get notified when I upload next. Thank you very much for watching and I'll link other videos at the end. Goodbye.